guys it's Megan happy weekend to you all and as you can see behind me my life is a mess right now everything is crazy and I'm just in one of those stages right now where everything is just wild and I'm just trying to roll with it and not trying to control everything and just trying to like ride the wave or whatever um which is very strange for me because i like to have order and not be in chaos but right now it's just the way it is and maybe tomorrow i'll get my life together who knows but right now i'm just trying my best and i want to film a bunch of videos today i just showered and got ready and it's like 4 p.m or something um and this morning and last night was so oh my gosh i have so much to catch you guys up on it's like insane because i was at the beach and so i didn't have like a normal like weekend last weekend and then um i had a um like a, a day at my work where we did a photo shoot for holiday and so we were like photographing products and stuff like that and in my um new role i am the strategist for our paid media email and sms and it's super exciting but a lot of responsibility that comes with it so it was amazing and i got to meet one of my best friends that i've made at work who i have never met because he was hired during covid and so we've only ever like talked virtually and stuff and it was just amazing to meet him in person and i can't wait for him to come to town um for like the next times that he'll have to be here uh, and the hair is going into my mouth but um it was just a really really amazing day and then the rest of the week was like a train wreck <laughs> and like the best way i can describe it is like the photo shoot day was like an escape from reality basically like it was part of my job but it, not like a normal day of work and so it was just so amazing and so inspiring and so exciting um and then i was like on this like high of that experience and then the next day was just like plummet dumpster fire like it was a really 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 hard day and not just because of like the juxtaposition of the amazing day versus a normal day but it was like not just a normal day it was like a really intense day and really stressful and a lot of like things went wrong and i was just like on the edge and so at like 5 p.m i talked to my boss and just really needed to like vent and be like oh my god this is all the stuff that's going on and i just like can't deal right now and my boss is so so incredible she's such an inspiration to me as just a person but also like a work mentor and um she of course gave me the best advice and told me like what I knew but what I needed to hear as well so it was really great that I was able to talk to her and then the next day was an intense meeting where I like was proposing a like I would say more aggressive idea of what our strategy should be and I knew it wasn't going to be something that this one manager agreed with but i came in with all of my like reasonings and um we got to a pretty good like middle ground and so that was really really like it went from like peak to a total horrible day to more of like a positive day and thankfully that was like on friday and so 
after I wrapped up work on Friday, I took a nap and then I met up with my best friend Alyssa and we went to Target and then I slept over at her parents' house, which she was visiting for what we did today which was the women's march for reproductive rights and we were uh we made our signs and we have them uh, i have pictures of it on instagram and we were really nervous because we've never been to like a rally or like a protest or anything like that so we really weren't sure what to expect but like we both felt just so compelled and like we couldn't not do it like we had to represent and be there for like pro-choice and just the whole insanity of what texas is proposing with like not not allowing abortions after six weeks and like no clause for rape or incest like it's just like so disturbing that i couldn't not do something and that was what we felt compelled to do was to go to the local rally and it was just a really really positive experience and um if you ever feel compelled to do something for what whatever you believe in like go with your gut and that is i think what i really learned this week was like even when i was really really struggling on that one day like i was just really compelled to talk to my manager and i just knew like she was the person i needed to talk to and it was exactly what i needed in that moment and this was exactly what me and my best friend felt like we needed to do in this moment and so that was just a really inspiring morning today and um it was cool afterwards we went to a winery to do like a wine tasting and i even have some wine still that i'm working on um but we were just like in there like we were just like chilling we weren't like trying to rush and get out of there so we were just like sitting and kind of chatting with the girls that were working there and then like this lady came in and she had this ribbon which was from the rally in the morning and um so me and Alyssa were like oh my god we were there too and it turned out that this lady was the owner of the winery that we were at and she had um like supported like at a like protest or something like a long time ago for Roe versus Wade and she was like I knew I had to be here for the next generation because I can't believe we're still like fighting this and so it was just like one of those amazing things like we just happened to go to this winery afterwards and then we met the owner and just had this really amazing experience and conversation with her so it was just a really really awesome awesome day and i was so sweaty because <laughs> it's like turning into fall here in Pennsylvania and so it was like cold in the morning but we were out in the sun so we were just like so hot and we were like why did we dress for cold weather like it was just one of those days like where it goes from like 50 to like 75 and you're just like so boiling so when i got home i told my family the whole saga of the day and all the great moments and then i showered i just finished doing my makeup my hair is still drying um but like i said i want to film um I have definitely two videos I want to film other than starting this vlog so I'm like okay let's do the vlog first see if my hair dries a little bit more and then film the other ones but um I don't want to vlog like last night and this morning just because it was kind of like we were in the moment and just experiencing this um for the first time together me and my best friend and it was a really really powerful um experience so loved it and would definitely do it again and um yeah it was just something like i said i just felt really compelled to do so um yeah and the rest of the weekend i guess i don't really have anything i have scheduled except for my book club meeting tomorrow night at eight so i need to write my notes for that either tomorrow morning or tonight i don't know if i'll 
be motivated to do it tonight, <laughs> to be honest. Um, but yeah, so I think I'm going to film my videos and then see where the day takes me. So thanks so much for being here. I love, love, love you guys. Hang out with me every weekend. It seriously means so much to me. And yeah, so stay tuned. <laughs> The sign that I got at Kirkland in Rehoboth is just so perfect to how I feel right now. I'm like, my life is in shambles, but it's just a phase. <laughs> That's what I'm telling myself at least. So I just finished filming all the videos I wanted to film. I feel so like productive, but editing is like what pushes me back. Like I have so many videos like either ideas or I film them, but then editing just takes me so long to do. So maybe tonight I'll sit down and edit some or um, tomorrow or something because I just want to edit them all so they're ready to go basically. But um, I was just um, like changing because then I was all sweaty again. So I just changed into this shirt that I love from Adidas because I'm such a sporty athleisure person now. Um, and on YouTube, the ad that I got was for Peloton, which not gonna lie, I want a Peloton like crazy, but um, they're hella expensive and I don't have anywhere to put one. But anyway, um, it cracked me up because I haven't heard an ad from them in a while and my mom hates that they're like the um like leaders or whatever that are like doing the exercises they're like come on peloton like they like call the people that are watching peloton like she's like why are they calling them peloton they're people like they're not peloton like peloton is the bike they're not peloton <laughs> and it just like cracks me up because she gets like so mad like she's like they better never call me peloton because like i don't know she just gets so mad about it and it's hilarious to me and so in this ad they said it like four separate times like different instructors were like come on peloton and i was like oh my god my mom would like be so mad and if any of you guys have a Peloton, do they say, come on Peloton? Like, do they call you Peloton? <laughs> it's just so weird and so funny. But anyhow, I just wanted to have that little moment of funny weirdness because it just reminded me of my mom and how mad she gets about it. I just got this last night and it's amazing to me. This is from the kids section in Target and it's like a Harry Potter globe light. So right now I just have it with my lamp so it doesn't look very good, but it just kind of like fit perfectly right here. So it has like different cutouts, like an owl, the sorting hat, um, the lightning bolt, his glasses, like, it's just so so cool and I had to have it so um, you just plug it in it came with the light bulb which I was surprised about and it's just freaking epic for any Harry Potter fan and like you don't know it's Harry Potter right off the bat like just kind of looks like it's star cutouts or something but then you start noticing like the little details and I just think it's really cool and special so I'll link this down below for any of you who are interested for it for yourself or for your kids and it does like have the um like projection kind of on the wall or the ceiling depending on where you put it okay i'm scared because my parents and rachel are watching old family videos and they're like come down you're hilarious so i'm like all right <laughs> my hair <gasps> God. Oh my god! I stop. Hurry, hurry! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Like an animal. Yeah. I still have that shirt. Okay. Oh, you're 
Wait, here's a good moment of yeah, Rachel. I asked, I asked, I asked mom <laughs> okay. to get it. Oh, this thing. It's a little ornament. <laughs> Wait, here's another good moment. <laughs> I love you guys. <laughs> it's the Relying K of Christmas album. And then we saw them at concert. <laughs> Arguing is ensuing. <laughs> Mom's opening a bottle of ooh, cupcake pr pr Wait, what is it? Prosecco. Prosecco. It's like a rose prosecco. Mm, but it's a real thing, so we're scared. Dad said, don't point it at me. <laughs> As if we would. <laughs> Whoa, bubbly. Yum. Ooh, that looks cool. Yeah, good job. <laughs> we survived. So scared. <laughs> I'm ready to do my skincare for the night and Elemis hooked me up with so many products and I'm going to use a bunch of them with you guys but this pro collagen cleansing balm is incredible and it actually comes with a like washcloth which I think is really really nice because this is a like really creamy cleansing balm that you definitely want to remove with like a warm like steamy washcloth that will help get all the residue off but I just have my makeup from today on and I wanted to show you guys how awesome this is and they really really were <laughs> extremely generous with what they sent um so I definitely wanted to show you so it's more like a I don't know how I would describe this. It almost reminds me of like a jelly kind of. Um, smells amazing, like a spa. Like I feel like Elemis has spas like or something, but if they do, I definitely want to go because their products just smell like the most luxurious spa. So, I like to rub this all over dry skin and then get a little bit of water to emulsify it. And it like breaks down your makeup so easily. And then with the washcloth that they sent, I'm just getting nice and warm water on here. And then you can just remove all your makeup. And um, this is just so much better than like makeup wipes or anything like that. And it's very nourishing, um, like cleansing balms. And I feel like this one is especially. So I like to try to get as much off as possible with just the balm. And then I have a little bit of eyeliner still on. I use my magnetic lashes today and that eyeliner is like so bulletproof, um, but they do have a eye and lip makeup remover. There's like a bi face, so you definitely want to shake that up. And I love my um, reusable cotton rounds. So a little bit goes a long way with this, I noticed. And so this will just get any remaining like waterproof or super long wearing eye makeup off. And then I'm gonna go in with their Pro Collagen and Energizing Marine Cleanser. And so this says to not get it like in your eye area, which I do like to put my cleanser over my eyes, but with this I just, try to avoid that but again I just like to put this all over emulsify it a little bit and it's a little bit foaming and then just remove it all with your washcloth and oh it just like 
smells so soothing, all of their products do. And then just pat dry. And then the next product I have been curious about for so long. These are their dynamic resurfacing facial pads. These are like chemical exfoliating little rounds. And so I've only used them once. And I would say if you have more sensitive skin, only use these like one or two times per week. Not sure if it says on here, but I would say it's definitely um, a chemical exfoliant that I can like feel working. It just feels like it's actually exfoliating my skin, which I think is great. And I've always loved like exfoliator pads like this. So really excited to be trying those. And then if my skin's feeling like it needs some oil. They sent the superfood facial oil and tonight I don't think I'm going to use that but they sent the pro collagen marine cream um, which is a day cream but I don't see why you wouldn't be able to <laughs> well I just dropped the little thing but we will use what fell on my hands but it doesn't have SPF, so you can absolutely use it during or at nighttime as well. And again, this just smells so good. And it's like a very like just creamy, luscious, but like lightweight texture. And they also sent this Pro Collagen Eye Revive Eye Mask, which is really intriguing to me because as I've gotten older, as we all do, your under eyes really show the signs. So, wow, this is really cool. Um, so it says that you should use this either at night or under makeup. And this is like a kind of like gel um, texture. So I'm just going to take a little bit, like this will last forever, and just put it under my eyes. And that's cool that you could use it under makeup as well. So thank you so much to Elemis for hooking me up with all this skincare. As you can see, my skin is nice and clean. It's not like super dewy or anything because I didn't use the oil. But when I used the oil the other night, my skin was so just like juicy and like nice and oily in a good way because I really love when... I use oils when my skin just needs that extra moisture, but today, since I was doing so much out and about, I feel like my skin was pretty, like, balanced. Um, so just that cream, I think, did the trick. So that is it for my nighttime skincare routine. I'm going to continue editing because I have so much editing I need to do, uh, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Morning you guys, it's Sunday and I just finished writing all my notes for my book club tonight where we're gonna discuss What Comes After by Joanne Tompkins and I have many, many notes to go over and then I'm going to announce our October book which I'll tell you guys here because this video goes up after I'll already have announced it. So if you guys want to read the October book for my book club with me, it is The Lincoln Highway by Amos Towles. It seems just like a really different book than what I typically go for um, because it is historical fiction, which isn't typically my genre, um, but it seems pretty interesting. And I like to pick different types of books for my book club because um, it really pushes me outside of my typical book comfort zone. And I just think it's fun to read different stuff with you guys. So I hope that's going to be good. It gets amazing reviews. And so let me know if you're going to read that one with me in October. Hey you guys, so we are doing the rounds and getting some stuff done. We just went to the mall and I want to show you guys what 
we got at Sephora and Barnes and Noble. So mostly it was just restocks. I got my mom her Laneige moisturizing cream cleanser. She loves this stuff and the water sleeping mask. So we got her stocked up with that. And I had a friends and family coupon, so it was 20% off. And I got the Ilia Limitless Lash Mascara. This is one of my favorite products I discovered through like, I don't know if it was a Sephora favorites kit or something, but I love that. And I really haven't been buying mascara lately, so that will be what I'll use when I'm ready for my next one. And I finally got to smell this um, Sol de Janeiro Charosa 71 Caramelized Vanilla and Macadamia body spray and this smelled amazing it's like very like nutty and like caramely so it's really unique to me and I thought it would be nice to like pair with other fragrances oh yeah it's so so yummy to me so this size is only $20 which I don't think is horrible um, so I got that and then Rachel wanted to get this again which I bought her in the past this is the um, kombucha cleansing treatment it's a no rinse cleanser and basically it's like a micellar water idea oh good yeah it is plastic um, and you just put it on a cotton pad and you wipe it over your face and it helps because Rachel doesn't like to get her face wet <laughs> so she doesn't wash her face <laughs> so this is like a really good middle ground so uh, we got a full size of that that's everything from Sephora and then at Barnes & Noble I got three books and I have never heard of any of these so I'm really really excited to um, read them soon and they're all thrillers go figure who uh, <laughs> surprised no one not least of all Rachel and she gave me her gift card which was so nice so it saved me like 20 bucks which was awesome so I got the last Mrs. Parrish by Liv Constantine and it's like um so it says Amber Patterson is fed up she's tired of being a nobody a plain invisible woman who blends into the background and then she moves to or like wait duh, 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 duh. Um, oh my gosh, she's gonna undermine this like really awesome lady in town because she's so sick of being a nobody. So, sounds like it's a, gonna be dramatic and amazing. This was the first book that caught my eye in the entrance. It's called Did Say, Did, oh, it says Did I, but that has been covering it. I was like, did say you could go? Like, it's like so weird. But it's did I say you could go? That makes much more sense. And the cover is actually textured like um, rain or like condensation. It's really, really cool. Um, so basically, it's a crazy thriller with rich ladies and I just love that. And then this one, I love the cover of this. It's called Never Saw Me Coming, and it's a whodunit full of psychological suspense. So, love whodunits, love psychological suspense, and I'm super excited to read all of these. So, now we're in the McDonald's drive through and I have to decide what I'm gonna get, but it's definitely gonna be something with nuggets. <laughs> so, I've been editing but this one video is taking forever to process, so I haven't been able to do as much as I wanted to. Um, but anyway, I wanted to wrap up this vlog here because I have my book club tonight and it's Sunday night, so by the time that's over, I'm gonna be just like getting ready for bed and getting ready for the week ahead. And then next weekend, I'm going to visit Chloe at her house and I can't wait because I literally haven't seen her in like a year and a half because of COVID. So really looking forward to that, but it means that it'll be kind of chaotic because I'll be gone for the weekend, but it's all for awesome reasons. So anyway, I'm going to wrap this up here and I hope you guys enjoyed this one and I hope you have a great weekend and we'll see you really soon. Bye.